this is where the fun begins. What's up, guys? My name is Tony, a.k.a. Star Wars Sith, and welcome to another episode of Sith Talk, where we talk Star Wars news, rumors, and coming soons. Today we have on the show Chris from the Nerd Dad YouTube channel. How you doing, Chris? Doing good, man. Like, really, really excited to be here, man. I've been waiting for this all week. So Yes, awesome. All right, so tell us a little bit about your channel, what your channel focuses on, and where we can find you at. Uh, well, my channel mainly focuses on uh, replica lightsabers, helmets. Um, I've been collecting hot toys for a little while, and that's kind of something I kind of want to jump into also. But the main thing has always been lightsabers. And nice. Un unfortunately, that's the one that costs the most, so... <laughs> yeah it does i've been trying to stay away from it don't do it but yeah but it's, it's a trap i know i know it's a big trap <laughs> cool cool and then where can we uh find you at uh mainly you can find me on youtube uh, as well as instagram on instagram i'm also on the, the nerd dad as well uh that's normally where i keep updated stuff what's going on uh nice. you know within the nerd community it's not even just star wars stuff like 90 percent of it is all star wars stuff but uh, yeah. here and there i'll splash in a couple video games and stuff like that too so nice all right so you guys watching and listening i'm gonna put his info in the description down below be sure to check him out and subscribe Thanks, so man. everybody that comes on three questions you ready let's do it so the first one is what is your favorite star wars movie and why all right some people don't like it but i'm gonna say it Ooh. all right it's not it's, not, it's, not, it's nothing crazy all right and actually there's one i really want to say but I'd, I'd be lying the phantom menace Okay. Yeah. There's and why Phantom Menace? <laughs> so I never saw Star Wars, <clears throat> A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, or uh, Return of the Jedi when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Uh, I grew up with siblings who weren't into that kind of stuff. And oh. I was only introduced to Star Wars <clears throat> because of Star Tours in 1993. Yeah. So I wrote it in Disneyland, and I was like, this is awesome. This is great. And yeah, I was like, what is this, right? And they mentioned <laughs> Vader. They mentioned everything. And I'm like, what is this? And my, my brother's like... Oh, that's just nerdy stuff. Like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, all right, right. And so yeah. in, nine, in uh, 99, Phantom Menace came out and I saw it in theaters. And that's the first time I actually sat and saw a Star Wars movie. Yeah. You know, my entire life. And from there, that's when, you know, I remember I was being so confused. I was like, wait, but where's 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 Darth Vader? I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I never saw four, five, and six. And so then um, a couple of years later, Attack of the Clones come out, and I'm like. Okay, this is kind of making sense. Uh huh. That was so after uh, Attack of the Clones. That's when I was introduced to A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, wow. So I saw in a whole different order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by the time I saw four, five, and six and finished it, I was like, okay, so one and two make more sense. Yeah. And that's what made uh, Revenge of the Sith like I was so oh. hyped for because I was like, okay, so now we're connecting the dots and that makes more sense. So it's crazy because my whole thing started from a ride. In 1993. Wow. So you yeah. saw one, two, then four, five, six, then three. Or you could say I saw the ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, one, two, four, uh, four, five, six, three. Yeah. That's cr that's a crazy story. But it's I, different. I, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I understand why you say a fan of Minnesota, like that started it for you and it like introduced yeah. you to everything. And it's it's just like, you know, when a new hope came out. You know that started the ge that generation yeah when you know it all started right and then uh 1989 people who've never seen it kind of like you know me mm. that's what got them interested now we have a new generation of kids and teenagers who started with uh the force awakens so yeah that's yeah, cool that's crazy that's dope yeah so for me my favorite is revenge of the sith man and it's, it's so good i know it's just it's just always so good. It always hits the same every time you watch it. And I just remember like that midnight release back in 2005, seeing it Thursday. Like I'll never forget that. Just the nostalgia. And it was a, a fire movie. So yeah, man, it's freaking crazy, man. So, and, crazy. you know, and now with, with the new shows and Connecting getting to see more. Order, Order 66, you know, what the, the events of that happening and even the first episode of The Bad Batch. You know, it's yeah making three even better. It is. It's adding more you know? to it. Yeah. 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 It's stories we didn't know we were going to get. Yeah. So the next question is, which is your favorite Star Wars show? Only one. Live action or animated. But you can only pick one. Dang. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to go with, with uh, Mando. Okay. I'm going to go with Mando. 
Why Mando? <clears throat> um, you know, we're seeing the events of, you know, what, five years, you know, starting from season one, five years after Revenge of the, uh, Return of the Jedi. Yep. And now we're leading up to um, the, uh, the sequels. Well, we're mm-hmm. probably far away from the sequels, but we're yeah. going to lead up to that, you know. But also we're getting, you know, we've talked about little stories in between that we didn't know we were going to get. You know? Yeah. So we're getting we're getting a lot of stories within this, you know, this three season show that we could get four or five seasons and we're getting even more stories. Yeah. You no, know, stories we didn't even know we needed. <laughs> you know what I no, mean? No, for sure. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and it's just so good. And you know, we're we're getting we got the book of Boba Fett from it. Yeah. You know, so I think the show is opening so many doors for Star Wars in general. No, it yeah. re- it really is, especially when you frame it that way, because like it brought Boba Fett back from the dead, it brought Ahsoka live action, Bo yep. live action, um, Cat Bane live action through Book of Boba Fett. So like, yeah, and from what we we got in today's episode, which we could talk about, we could mention because oh, so like good. this isn't air until Friday, but freaking Zeb Aurelius was in there. Like what? And it's so crazy because me and some of the guys who were watching, you know, doing a a watch party. Yeah, I, I saw I saw him in the background, and he's very blurry. And oh. I kind of I, I looked at the side of my eye, and I look at the guys, and everyone did this, like, like is that no? That's not him. And then yeah. we heard we we saw him. We saw the clarity in his face. We heard the voice. We're like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Again, that, it's it's a whole nother story we never knew we were gonna get. And yeah, it was a surprise. There was there was no hint that we're gonna get somebody new or no live action especially zeb too because like with zeb there was there was like people saying that he's not even gonna be maybe in the ahsoka show because there were no rumors about him so people were worried that maybe he's too complicated to bring into live action now they figured it out because he looked great he looked great it was it was so good and we and we and one thing i said about season three is we see how much Disney and Lucasfilm put money into this show mm-hmm. to make it look really good. And I think having him making his appearance and the way he looked was a great example of just how good, you know, or how much work they put into the show. Yeah. And it was what, 10 seconds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 10 that seconds was, of greatness. Yeah. That was like the best 10 seconds of the episode. I freaking love that part, man. It hit so hard for everyone that watched Rebels. Like, seeing that, they're going to freak out. I do that. I want to see more like more people's reactions because a lot of us the reactions were shocked because yeah. again we, we didn't expect it. Oh yeah, wait till you see the reel I'm posting later tonight with my reaction to it cuz bro, I was right away I knew. Right right away I said his name, but like a little bit later I'm like is that Zeb? Like I know it's his species, but then in the credits, the voice actor is the same from Rebels, so it's yeah. been like it's like one hundred percent confirmed. So y- hearing his voice was the was what got us all right. Oh, that's him. That's, yeah. There's no he, way yeah. that's not him. Yeah, you know I mean that's that sounds like. I also I, thought about a, a, a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order because it's the same race. Yeah, so they could so. bring Cal's. Yeah, so if Cal ever comes to live action, they could do flashbacks with his master. Exactly. We might see that Order sixty six level in live action. Like like they could do it now. It's, which is sick again it's dude the show opens so many doors for so many different opportunities it's crazy yeah so for me my show right now it's clone wars but i think it's gonna turn to mando eventually with like everything we just talked about especially if it gets more seasons which we know season four is written it's probably gonna go five or six so by then it's kind of gonna be, gonna be like it it's like nothing's gonna top it but for yeah. now for me, it's just Clone Wars, and it's just because of those last four episodes. The Revenge of the Sith animated 2.0 is what just it just blew my mind seeing that. So, but before Clone Wars, it was Rebels, man. I was a big Rebels guy. A, a lot of people sleep on Rebels, but Rebels was big to me, man. I just rewatched it again. Yeah, I yeah, have it I in a to. minute. I, I'm, I'm about to, though, soon for Ahsoka because I need it fresh in Same. my mind. So, exactly. So the next one is who is your favorite character? So I'm stuck on two, uh-huh. right? And once, once kind of is like it's kind of a cheat, but I'm gonna go with Vader, uh huh, because it's two people. When yeah, you yeah, it, you know, two for one. Anakin. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's 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 a it's a great story. You know, we we see when he's Anakin, just 
what he did because he loves somebody, you know, yeah. his mom, his mom and his, you know, his, his wife. And so we can see it shows that the nicest, kindest person can turn. Yeah. And then also be redeemed. So, I mean, it was, it was a tie between him and Maul, to be honest. Oh, nice. You know, that, that was my tie. Yeah. But I was just like, man, if, if we had more stories of Maul. I know, man. To get us like to more attached to the character. Game over. I'm already attached with the little bit that we have. So Maul is my favorite. It kind of fluctuates. It's usually Maul, but sometimes it'll be between Maul, Boba, and then Anakin, right? Yeah. But like with Maul, bro, we were robbed. Because you heard about what the sequels were supposed to be, right? Yeah. With Maul and Darth Talon and Luke fighting. Bro, imagine. so good. Imagine Luke fighting Darth Maul. What? Oh. And and there's there's so much of Maul that we don't know and things that he insinuated in um in Rebels. Yeah. When when they mentioned Vader, you know, he was like he was so fearful, right? And it's like, what are you scared of? What happened that you're so scared of him? And that's something that was never explored that could one hundred percent could have been explored for us to see. I, I was, think they I think they fought. I was literally about to say exactly what you said how in rebels when vader came maul was terrified and he dipped so like they had to have some sort of confrontation to make him that shook because the last we saw maul clone war season seven fighting ahsoka he flew off with the ship the next we see him he's hiding in that sith temple yep bro that's a lot of like what what happened so i'll take a flashback oh and i I (laughs) I mean i'll take it I think maybe some of it got messed up because I know there was some drama with Ray Park, like you know, so maybe that kind of like pushed it away because you it's it'll be hard to replace him. But if I love Ray Park, but like they got to figure it out if they have to. Like we need more mall stories. Like yeah, man, it's like we we need more more of his story, but we also you know with celebration coming up and they're supposed to announce a movie. I don't yeah. know about you, dude, but I, I miss going to the movies and watching Star Wars. So much. Like, that's why I can't even wait for this 2025 one. Even if it's trash, it's gonna I, I just can't wait to go for Christmas to get the, the metal tin popcorn collector yep. bucket with the cup and to be there Thursday, 5 p.m. show. Like I'll go to the first show because I want to know right away what's happening. So yeah, bro. I'm because we had that what five years in a row from yep. 2015 to 2019, every Christmas, five movies. It's kind of exactly. nice, but from what I'm what I'm reading too is um, the movie that's supposed to come out in 2025. Mm-hmm. Kathleen Kennedy's job is on the line. Yeah, I saw that. So I mean, Man, all these rumors confuse me because I've been hearing forever that she's done after this year, and then allegedly her contract is up next year. So like, it kind of doesn't make sense. Like, are they going to extend her contract next year when it's up? just to fire her in 2025. Like, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Um, I just want to kind of just get rid of her because there's just so much drama with her. Yeah, no, so, it's like, I mean, just have Dave Filoni and John Favreau just run it. That's, it. that's that's all you need. That's You have two guys, and if you merge them together, you have George Lucas. Yeah, exactly. You know? They could both handle everything. Like, it's everything. A, it's a good example of when you have someone who legitimately loves a franchise. Yeah, they both you do. Know, there's a difference between someone who's a fan of a franchise, but someone who loves the franchise. Yep. You know, and they, they've, they've proven that already. So, I mean, yeah. we'll see. I mean, dude, what, we'll, what a time it is right now to be a Star Wars fan because we're yeah. getting so much. I know. Sometimes it's a little overwhelming, cause, you know, because like something Ooh. pops up, you're like, oh. yeah, you know, I know, and it's, then, like, it's crazy. Yeah, and sometimes like it's it's great, like oh this is great, and sometimes it's like oh they lost another director, oh another movie got canceled, oh another movie got like I'm so sick of all these movies like this director, this director, and then months later, oh they're dropped out, it's on pause indefinite, this and that. So that is like overwhelming to me because now I'm at the point where it's like I'm not even thinking about it anymore. Like the latest thing that just popped up is that celebration. They're going to announce three movies. Yeah. Which is like, they can't even handle the one that's dropping in 2025. Like, are you going to tell us three movies like you did back then? And they're all going to get canceled. Like the rogue squadron, 
the yeah. Taika Waititi, the Kevin Feige, the um, I thought wasn't it like one of the Stranger Things directors was gonna have something a, like that? Yeah, that was gonna have one. I forgot the other one. But it's like the the scary thing about that is that so many movies with so many directors with so many way like cre- uh, creative minds. Yeah, right. So yeah. is that a double edged sword? I think so. You know and. Like for this year, I mean, you know, last night was the final two episodes of um, Bad Batch, which I haven't yeah. watched yet, which I'm, I'm going to watch that still. Yeah. You know, we have Mando. Ahsoka's dated, what, November? Yeah, maybe like September, October ish, I would think. Because I think Skeleton Crew is still dropping this year. Yeah. That's why I, I was reading that too. But that, and then also we have uh, Jedi Survivor. Yeah. We have something, we have content. Oh yeah, stories for the entire year, basically. Yeah, and then we have content for an entire weekend, next weekend. Yeah, you know that's that's something we're all you know we're gonna be able to see for ourselves. Like wow, you know that's content for ourselves to visually see that. Yeah, you know, and that's the exciting part. No, for sure. So usually on the show, I'll have a ton of articles of news, rumors, and leaks, but not today. Today is nothing but Star Wars celebration talk. So the first thing I want to know is when was your first Star Wars celebration? And tell me like how that was, how your experience was, like what do you remember from it? 2017 was my first. Right? Orlando? Yeah. That was my okay. first. Oh, and nice. I only went one day. Oh, what a tease. Yeah. And the, here's the thing was What day? I only went Friday. Okay. Yeah. And it sucks just because I, I work in a, an industry here and where I live that requires me to work on the weekends. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I was like, eh, let's just, so literally I went, so I flew in that morning and I left that night to Damn. be back to work on Saturday. Yeah. And so I had no one who wanted to go, you know, it's, it's, it's not a cheap thing to go to. Yeah. You know, and for us, we're staying, we're going to a whole nother country. I'm going to be there for about a whole week. Yeah. So it's, that's not cheap as, as it is. So for something like that, it was just one full day to go. And I honestly didn't even get much to do just because I wasn't aware what's around my surroundings, what's yeah. going on here. I didn't look into any of that. Yeah. Just because I knew I was on such a time crunch that I literally just walked around. Yeah. To check everything out, checked out the cosplays. I was like, dude, this is awesome. You know, so you, enjoy- it, you enjoyed it that one day, that, that one little taste. That one Got little taste, yeah, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I can't wait to go next year. And then my daughter was born, and I was like, mm, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it's just not gonna happen now. And so this was the year. I was like, all right, where, where are we going? Nice. So I, I, for some reason, I thought your first one was Anaheim, twenty fifteen. Maybe I kind of just assumed that because I know you more on the West Coast. But my first one was Orlando too, and I only went for two days because I was living in Orlando. And I didn't really know much about Celebration. I think I might have heard of, like, the Anaheim one and the um, the one in London in 2016. But I didn't really yep. think much of it that, oh, it happens all the time. It's going to come somewhere else soon. And I was, like, driving on iDrive, on International Drive. And there were, fl- like, banners for it, like, advertisements. And I'm like, what the hell is Celebration? Yep. So I looked into it. And I hit my boy up, Ricky. And I'm like, yo, let's let's go check it out. So we went two days do we just went the first two days because we figured oh two days is enough like we don't need to go for a whole thing and then after those two days like the other days that we didn't go we were both home like damn i wish i was back there we should have went right? for the whole weekend so from there we literally when they announced chicago and the tickets went on sale we bought the five day pass and we went to chicago um so since then i've been to that one chicago and then anaheim last year so it's like it just, bro, it gets you hooked, man. It gets you hooked, especially once you learn how things work and you get to experience everything from, like, the panels to the yeah. live stage to the show store to this exhibit to these meetups. It's it's such an, a unique experience. And for you, like, to do London for the almost the full time, bro, after this, you're going to want to always go, man. Like, oh, start- 100%. You're gonna start yeah. saving for 2025 right away, dude. Even when when I what's crazy is, you can spend one whole day in one of the, one of the showrooms not realizing that there's more. Oh yeah, you know yeah. It's, it's like it's, it's like, what's this door like like you open this door and like oh, there's more. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so that's the thing is like for anyone who only has one day to go. And, and I've seen, I've seen people posting only have one day to go. You're on crunch time. You have a lot to see. Yeah. Because you will miss something. Yeah. I see a lot of people posting that too, that they're only going for one day and every single one. I'm like, yo, don't overthink it. Don't overplan it. Just go and do what you can do and see what you can see. Cause like, if you go there and like, I want to do this, this, and this, there's no way you're going to get it all done. It's impossible. Exactly. So, and I'm only going for three. I was going for four days. Yeah. Originally, but we decided to cut a uh, Sunday short to leave somewhere else. Yeah. Which, I mean, which is understandable because you're in another country and it's not every day where it's pretty cheap to, to hop to country hop. Yeah. Like while you're there. So, well, the hard part is, well, I didn't, I was going to tell you this yesterday. I forgot. I ended up buying another photo op last night. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was I was I wasn't going to, and I was like, no, 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 that's okay. And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I was like, I'll, I'll regret this one if I don't do it either. Who'd you get? Uh, John Carlo. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a must. Yep. Yeah, and and the thing about him was what he brings to Star Wars as Moff Gideon, mm -hmm. and the seriousness of him and his demeanor. He brought in Breaking Bad, bro. When he played uh, Gustavo Fring, right, and he, he yeah. made you, he made you fear him, like he didn't even say a word, and you feared that person, and he's yeah. bringing that into Star Wars. And I'm like, dude, like I'm a fan already. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was like, and to see him there, I was like, yeah, this is, I, I, I gotta get. Him. I, I wished Pedro was announced. I would have bought that oh. right away. So for Giancarlo, I did the photo with him in Anaheim. And the main reason, like, yeah, he's great as Moff. I feel like we don't, we haven't gotten enough of him yet. We need way more because I know his potential because of Breaking Bad. Like, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul is probably, like, my top favorite show, like, at, up there. It's, like, it's up there. Like, it's both of them together is just, like, a masterpiece. But him as Gustavo Fring, terrifying, bro. So when I did the photo op, peep the shirt that I'm wearing and the sign that I'm making him hold. If it says gonna... Los Poyos Hermanos, <laughs> it does. <laughs> and look at the sign he's holding. That's good. It's the uh, missing Walt sign. Yeah. That's bro. and he has and he has this serious face. Yeah, the Gustavo Fring death stare, bro. Look that at is, him. That is look so how sick. terrifying that is, bro. Dude, he he will forever be solidified as Gustavo yeah. Fring. I know. Yeah. And. The potential for him to do the same thing as Moff Gideon, yep, oh, is, for is, sure. is crazy. And I think right now is such a great opportunity to get anyone who has the, op the opportunity, whether it's a signing, whether it's a photo op, right? Yeah, give it another year or even you know twenty twenty five because you know John Favreau already said he doesn't have an ending for um, yeah for Mando. So how long are we gonna have Moff Gideon? Exactly. Yep. So the price of his signature it's and the price up. for it, it's going to go up. It's going to go up. I promise you that. And he's in that. he's in the boys too. You see the boys on Amazon? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Like see? like it's, so. It's he's going to go be a sinister villain in all these different IPs, which is crazy. So, no, nah, that's that's a good one for sure, bro. Because I bet you by twenty twenty five that price will be double. Yeah, hundred percent. And so getting it now is a great opportunity, and his his photo ops are still available. Yeah, for Saturday and Sunday, and I believe he canceled Friday, from what I from what I read. Mm. Was, I don't know if it was he canceled or something happened within uh, celebration, but they took the week uh, Friday, and I think uh, Katie as well was canceled Friday. Yeah, I think they're all at MegaCon in Orlando the weekend before that, so maybe yep. it has to do with that and travel, something like that. But um, the photo ops was actually one of the things we were going to look at and talk about, so. Tell me about all your other ones that you got. So you got Giancarlo. What else you got? Um, I didn't get a lot because the one the photo. <laughs> I, well, I do have the papers right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the oh. photo op that I did get, I was you know I wanted to get more. Yeah. But this one just costs way too much, and that was uh, Hayden and Ewan together. You got that one too, right? I did get the, yeah. the duel. Uh, I do have a signature time with you and N Hayden nice I did have them both on Sunday but because Sunday's the day I'm leaving I end up switching that last night so I have Hayden Sunday you and Saturdays I have a very busy Saturday oh yeah I have I 
won the lottery for Ahsoka for, for Saturday. Yes. Immediately after that, I have John Carlo. And then whenever times come out for signatures for Ewan, and then I also have the photo up that same day. Damn. You that's know? so. Yeah. I put a lot of money into that just because I did get. Um, let me see if I can get it out. Oh, yeah, I do have it. So, you know, I, like I said, I do collect lightsabers. Uh huh. So I do have an Obi Wan that I have from episode three. I do have an Anakin that I recently in, you know, put the electronics myself in from Revenge of the Sith. Uh-huh. So it only makes sense to have it displayed together with this. Oh, the dual plaque. Oh, uh-huh. damn. So it does say Hayden Christensen, Ewan McGregor, and they're both going to sign on it so it'll be together. Yo, that is going to be the, the most epic, gorgeous display. You better have it in like a clear case, like that's, no dust. That's, yeah, so it's right here oh. currently. It's here yeah. currently, but once once it gets uh, done, it's going to be encased. Oh, that is so sick, man. Yeah, like, I mean, paying for, you know, the plaques and everything else. I it's was like, a yeah, lot. That's, that's an expensive signature, man. No, it is. But, like, you know? bro, that's priceless, man. Priceless. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. That, that's, I mean, to be honest, we have another week, and um, I might see something else, and I'm like, oh, I got time for that. Oh yeah, let's no, go do that. You know, for sure. So the ones that I have that I already paid for, and I know, just like you said, when I'm there, there's another one I know I'm gonna book, but I'm just gonna do it there. That way, I feel don't feel as bad buying it and having all the papers in front of me like you. But I have Hewin on Saturday, so he's right after the Ahsoka panel. So once it's done, I'm gonna haul ass to Hewin for the photo op. Sunday, I have the dual Hayden and Hewin photo op which I'll probably cry and it's going to be like life changing. And then Saturday I have the free yak face signature. So I'm going to grab that on Saturday, but see, I couldn't, I, and I, right when I went to try and get it, it was gone. I think I, it took me like three tries. I got it on the second or third day, something like that. Cause every day for like a week, they put them up the free autographs. So, but the one I've been eyeballing is the clone wars, the triple photo op, Cause the price it's on sale because of the 15 year anniversary. Yeah. So it's 159 for Ahsoka, Matt Lancer, Anakin, and then um, Obi Wan, the voice actors. But like, it's crazy if you go to Ashley's photos by herself, it's like thirty dollars more expensive just for her, which yeah. is wild. So I'll probably grab that one too while I'm there, man. But I really want the dual Ahsoka and Ahsoka photo op, but that's like. Bro, that's expensive. That, yeah, I looked into it too. You know, I, I looked into even just doing um, Rosario Dawson too, and I was like, "Damn, man." Yeah, but like, like her, I, her... I could charge the credit card, but dang, I know. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I think when I'm there, I still might do something with, with her, bro. Her price is gonna go through the roof once the Ahsoka show drops. So the next show, like 2025 celebration, that price is gonna be wild. The one I may get if he, I haven't checked to see if he's available Friday, Anthony Daniels. Oh, yeah. So we've, we've, talked, we've talked about that a couple times just because yeah. you know, he is he is getting up there in age, and that's one. We'll tell you right now. Know. Oh, no, he's still available. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Yeah, you're right, too. That's another one, too. Yeah. But yeah, he's still available. So there's still a decent amount available. Really, it's just you. Wait. Wait. This is inaccurate because he updated, so he does have Saturday, Sunday photos, and he does have uh, Sunday at the table autograph. So Saturday was available uh, last night, and I did oh just, sold out. Yeah, and I was able to switch my 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 Sunday to my Saturday. So gotcha. even after I did that, there was still some available. So <laughs> it, it's still selling, you know. It, no, it I mean, it is, man. But. Other than that, everyone else is still there. Like, yeah, man. Like, oh, I think I would just fall in love, bro. Being in between both of them, getting a picture. Like, I wouldn't want to leave. Three hundred and thirty-nine. What is that in? Uh, probably close to four. Yeah, man. See, that's it's. You start thinking what you can buy with that. I know, <laughs> but 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 with this one in particular, the only way I, I might talk myself into it is because. It's not going to be every day that these two are at the same con together. 
like Ashley is at every con. She's like, that's her life, which is cool. But Rosario, she's like famous, famous. So like, yeah. there's going to be a point where she's doing movies, doing other shows. Like, I think she just dropped a show like on Amazon or like a random thing. And then she's about to drop a show on Disney plus the, some show that she's in, you know what I'm talking about? She's doing one on Disney plus. Yeah. I think it's oh, like, I, a, I think it's like a, is it a haunted mansion movie or something like that that she's oh, in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's um, it is a haunted mansion. Yeah, the, like the yeah, movie yeah, version the, of it. The, the remake of a reboot. I guess yeah, because they they made one before. So yeah, yeah, I did see that. So like with her, like she's legit busy, man. Like, and then I don't know if they're gonna bring her back in Marvel because like with the Daredevil coming out, bro, she was a huge part of that Netflix Daredevil oh, yeah. universe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and and the thing about it now is like she's she's she dipped her feet into Disney, and now yeah. she's kind of she's she's riding that wave right now. Yeah, to the so point like, where we don't know she'll be there in twenty twenty five. Yeah, like why wouldn't she hop back in? Because like she was in the Daredevil show a bunch. She was in Luke Cage. She was in the Defenders show. Like Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> <laughs> she was in the, dude. I was, I'm like starting to convince myself to actually do it now. Yeah, that's going to be like a super impulse uh, purchase for sure. But other than that, though, it's a solid, uh, a solid, even, bro, this one too. Mom Mothma, the OG. Yep. Bro. I'm actually, I'm actually even surprised. Even, well, I see Monday. I won't even be there. Yeah, I'll be there Monday. Yeah, but look I'll, at that. For, for 39 yeah. pounds, dude, that's, that's actually worth getting, to be I honest. Know. That's actually it, worth getting. Or even like the autograph, because I, I think I saw some of the photos and it's like the OG young photo of her from like the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's tempting, man. That's super tempting. Somebody. Oh, and then even a uh, wedge, bro. Like, that's not bad at all. Those prices that's for not, wedge. That's really that's honestly anything under 100. I would consider getting right away. Yeah. And he's there Friday. Oh, I might have to do that. Yeah. Fr <laughs> Friday and Saturday. <laughs> I might have to do Friday. Because yeah, Friday man. is more Friday is more of um for me is kind of trying to get through everything as fast as I can. Yeah. yeah. That way I can kind of chill Saturday and Sunday. No, for sure. Yeah. There's not a lot going on Friday either. Like I'm looking at all the other panels that I would want to do and see. And like Saturday, I think has the most and Sunday. Yeah. But Friday, there's literally just the Lucasfilm panel is the only one that I would want to go to. Then my day is free and I'm chilling. So, which could be why they moved, they canceled some of the signings on Friday, just because it's like, hey, I think Saturday, Sunday is more important for you to be here. Type there's thing. there's that, and then the live stage too. Maybe they're gonna have multiple of them on the live stage at the same time, because Friday is the only day there's no live stage schedule. It just says guests all day. I, if Cameron Monaghan, I would love it, bro, because but, the game comes out not long after. Was it two weeks after celebration? Not even two weeks. Just shy of two weeks. And they no. have to, uh, you know, ad advertise for it. You've got no, to do they, something they do. to really get it going. They really do. But, like, the, the thing that sucks, though, is that uh, EA isn't, like, like confirmed to be there. Like, you would think there would be, like, a gaming panel or maybe they would be there. They would have a booth and we could play it. Like, bro. Because they did that, I think, for Battlefront in 2016, London Celebration. I'm pretty sure they were there demoing like battlefront or battlefront 2 or something mm -hmm. like that and so the, <clears throat> and the map on the app doesn't show specifics yet no not yet uh -uh. you know what i mean so we won't know into either a what a couple of days before yeah or the day of yeah because that map only shows lego funko and hasbro yep that's it because so. those those are the ones that have been announced mm -hmm. you know what i mean so dude i don't know i th i think we have a few surprises that we're Hopefully. not even aware is going to happen. Yeah. Because I think the fact there is no celebration next year, this is the, mm -hmm. hey, yeah, we kind of have to put the, you know, some extra stuff in there because we're not going to have it next year. Yeah. You no, know? for so sure. I, I, think, I think we'll get some surprises this year. So the next thing, the live panel. So this is the first time that they've ever done this. Because usually every, the, all the celebrations I, I've been to, it was random whenever people came out on stage and like, you know, in Anaheim, I was in line for Giancarlo and Hayden Hewen came out and everybody started running to the stage. It was crazy. 
I think this is good that they're planning this, but it's going to make it even crazier, especially like this day, Saturday at noon, that stage is going to be so packed for people waiting for Hayden. And then I think Hewins on Sunday, but this is cool that they did this. Cause then the people that can't go, they can watch this on YouTube live at home, which is nice. They get something, but for us there, I mean, it's good for us to know, but bro, these times for certain people is going to be a zoo going to the live stage and again it's it's a time crunch man like it's we have we have things already we have signings we have photo ops yeah. we have um the ahsoka panel at 11 o'clock on saturday saturday but yep. ideally you should be there 30 to 45 minutes earlier yep and it's like you're looking at your times and you're like okay i have to get from here to here within this time period to catch this but for for me i wouldn't mind missing hayden or ewan for this just because i get the photo up yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, you know, gonna, I, I get to shake the hand, man. Yeah, you know, I get, I get the dual photo up, but I'm not, I'm not a very tall person, man. So, looking at Hayden, I'm like, dude, I feel like it's Order sixty six <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh no, that's Young kind of how I feel about it, man. Yeah. Like, oh no, this is it. <laughs> you should, you should wear a Jedi robe too. That way, you look like a youngling. Thought about it, but I actually have a Sith robe too, so it's kind of oh, like, oh, okay. Yeah. So, this was cool. And then where's the other one? So from the regular panels, besides like the main ones, was there any other panels that you were like looking at that you wanted to go check out? I really wanted to do the the Lucas um, showcase. Yeah, you know it. They, they all it says like what says returns. It doesn't really exactly say what they're gonna show, but it'd be really cool to have, you know, if they brought out certain people from certain movies that you didn't expect you know because here's the thing this is the um, the return of the jedi anniversary yeah who are they gonna bring you know so, it's opportunity to cool to see some cool people and some cool footage that we may not have seen before mm -hmm. could could pop up for that yeah so i know there's a return of the jedi panel there's a 40th i forgot what day it was but for the lucasfilm panel that is going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be buck wild because they're going to announce the 2025 movie for sure in there. If it's, if it's really is three movies we're getting, it's going to be announced in there. They already confirmed that we're going to get acolyte stuff in there. So the yeah. people working on acolyte said it'll be in there so that it's probably 99% safe to say skeleton crew stuff will be in there too. Um, and then I don't know what else, man, to be honest, but that, that could be their opportunity to even show off Jedi Survivor. They could. It could. Just because there isn't anything else planned for it, and that, that's an opportunity. And it just sucks. I didn't, I you know, I put into the lottery for that one. I didn't even I know there's a queue, you know, with the with the possibility of getting it into it. So Yeah. What is that? Friday, eleven AM. So I mean it's an hour so right after get, we open up. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely try to get in that queue, man, because it's it'll probably be worth it. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. But like, as far as the panels, the only like two random panels I for sure want to hit up is the Hasbro panel and then the Funko panel, because Funko really never has panels. But for the Hasbro panel, they can announce that they're going to be revealing twenty new items. So they could be showing new vintage collection, new Black Series, new sabers, maybe some new helmets. So I want to check I'm out those the reveals. Helmets, I'm, I'm down for the helmets. So I know in one of their live streams, they announced, uh, they didn't show an actual picture of it, but it was a mock-up that we're, that we're getting the Ahsoka clone trooper helmet. The, what is it? The 332nd helmet? The, the five, no, not the, yeah, 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 you're right. I'm thinking five first, but yeah. So they could maybe show us the actual helmet of it or maybe some more new ones. Maybe they'll show us like, here's the, um, Here's like the shock trooper clone trooper helmet. Mm -hmm. Here's 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 the five hundred first helmet. So who and, knows? And, it, and it, you know what's possible is they could. What what day is uh, Hasbro's thing? Um, hold on, I have it in my calendar on the app because this app is because I have a thought because if it's on a Friday, I wouldn't be surprised if on the on the show floor they have those helmets encased. So you actually get a first look. So the they did something like that in Anaheim. Yeah, it's on Saturday. So I bet you they'll show it to us Saturday and Sunday. It'll be in the case on the floor because yeah. that happened in Anaheim. 
they uh, revealed the new Kenobi Black Series figures with yeah, like the Inquisitors. And like the first day, the case was empty, but then the next day they had him in there. So they'll probably do something like that. Like I guarantee you the first day there'll be an empty case and it'll say coming on this date, coming on this date. And when we come back the next day, it'll it'll be filled up. Yeah. So and that, that'd make more sense for them to do it that way. Have you looked at uh the map? So yeah, you've looked at the map, right? Yep. I already started looking at it and that's that's when I realized it's like, dang, they don't really actually have specifics of what's gonna be there. So I mean a lot of this I was looking at was mainly, you know, the uh, the panels, especially with the Twin Sons Q Hall. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, the, and honestly, those are kind of the things that we really do need to know about right away. Like, where are these locations? How, you know, oh. but even in photo. Yeah. Actually, is that new? Those right there? No, no, no. Th- so this photo, this is the old one that I had, but I, like, I didn't zoom in like this. Like, the Heroes and Villains booth is here. Atomic Mass, Citizen Watches, Forbidden Planet. So I'm pretty sure, I know three of these have the sponsor pins, but yeah, I didn't even notice that when I was analyzing the map before. Heroes and Villains, is that the clothing company? Yeah, they have a, yeah, 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 they have a baby Ahsoka exclusive pin that you get for free if you spend 30 pounds or more there. So, oh yeah, they have a dope Mando shirt that's exclusive for there. At Anaheim, I bought their Kenobi one that was for there, and I got a free crosshair pin. So I'm Sick. definitely going to hit them up. Yeah. So, yeah, this this map is definitely useful. I just can't wait to actually be there, man. So I'm just hoping for a reliable Wi-Fi. Yeah, don't count on that. I'm no. sure uh, with the amount of people that are being there, bro, yeah, what, what what you trying to do? Are you trying to like live stream and stuff while you're there? No, it's just more to, you know, at least so the app will work. But oh. you know, I, I think one thing I'm thinking about is um, just getting a uh, one of the Wi-Fi pucks. I mean, oh, it's okay, co- it'll cost me extra for <laughs> the next year because it's, it's yeah. a whole plan. Oh. But I mean, I'll, I'll, I just have to make use of it. But that, that's fine. I'd rather be reliable. Um, I'm meeting up with a few people, so at least if they need it, anyone can. Yeah get into wi-fi as long as i have my password so that's true so have you seen all the pin stuff because like pin trading is like a big thing that i i didn't really get into it until chicago halfway through and then anaheim i went nuts and i'm gonna go nuts here but have you been looking at all into any of the pin oh, stuff? I have. oh i have yeah I've been looking at them there's some of them i was kind of like oh well that's all right some some have been doubled right like in the packs, like they're using the same ones for no, no, for some packs, or is it just were those just the announcement of those? No, they were just announcements. So the only packs that we know confirmed are these three three packs, and those were like pre order only supposedly, and then they announced the eight sponsor pins. So for these, bro, these are the ones that are the ill mission because you you legit cannot get all these in one day because these are all at eight specific vendors. They have a certain amount and they put a certain amount out each day. So once their amount is sold, you have to try the next day. Yeah. So there's like a number of different ways that you could get it from them. Some of them will sell it. So I know Wicked Brick is going to sell their Yoda. So it should just be like 10 pounds. Heroes heroes and I Villains. Have some, I have some Wicked Brick too, actually. Oh, they make dope displays, bro. Yeah. But yeah. The, the thing about Wicked Brick is it's to order. Oh, so yeah. You, yeah. So if you order something, they have to make it and then they uh-huh. ship it to you. So from what I got from them, it took almost two months. Man. Well, hopefully they have it. stuff there that maybe you could just buy and grab and go. I have, I'm bringing my, my carry on I actually have with me is empty. Yeah. <laughs> it's going empty. I'm checking in one bag. That's going to be empty. That's for whatever I can fit in there. So that's an opportunity too. Oh, no. So what I'm doing for, for my luggage. So I'm bringing one hard suitcase, hard shell suitcase. Inside, I'm bringing an empty, like, large, flat duffel bag. So on the way home, all my clothes is going to be in the duffel bag as a carry-on. And then all my collectibles and everything I buy will be in the hard case and bubble wrap and cardboard protected. So Because I'm going to get, like, Funko stuff, maybe some Hasbro stuff, stuff like that. So I want it in there protected in the hard shell versus, like, in a duffel bag. So... How are you going to protect yeah. your artwork? Oh, I bought a... Because uh, I've been thinking about that. How am I going to do that? 
Oh, I'll send you the link. I, I bought it at Michael's the other day. Uh, I, it's called a I, I Toya, the little art book thing. Mm-hmm. You, you, oh, I don't have it. It's it's far from here. But I'll send it to you. But it's basically, it's just a binder. And it has sleeves oh, okay. for the arts. And the binder comes in different sizes. So I actually have two of them. I have one that's 8 by 10 for my photo ops that I've been using. So oh, that perfect. fits right in my backpack. The other one, I think, is like, that I just got, it's big. It's like 11 by 17 or 12 by 17. But it's going to fit all those exclusive prints perfect in it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, because yeah, I was thinking about that because I have to pick mine up too. And I was like, wait, how am I going to? Yeah, I'll send you the link for both of them. Like, I grabbed them both at Michael's. They have them in stock, and they always have, like, a coupon. But so on the way home, yeah, the, it'll be in the binder, in the luggage, Gucci. No problem. No worries Perfect. at all. Yeah. I almost so, thought about shipping stuff from. <laughs> yeah, but. I thought about it, but I'm like. It's so expensive, and then having to wait for it, and God forbid it gets lost, yep. and you have something in there priceless. Like, you can't go back in time nope. and redo that. So. But for the rest of these, they haven't announced how to get them. So it's kind of like, realistically, you might be able to pull off one or two. If you get three in one day, like, that's a freaking miracle. Because, like, everyone does the same. And, like, you're going to see when it opens at 10, people are going to run right to these booths and start lining up right away. So it's like a mad rush. I can't wait. But I'm I'm for sure. Well, hopefully I'm for sure going to get all eight of these depending on like how you could get them so i like that chopper too and the chopper is one to have yeah and choppers at forbidden planet and they have a ton of ex- dope exclusive like fig pins they have a jackson comic exclusive and some other stuff so no matter what they charge for it or or if it's free with gift like there's dope stuff there to buy so yeah choppers bro i love that murder joint there is one pin. Actually, I just watched <clears throat> your video yesterday. Uh huh. That I do want. That's the Which, Rancor, dude. So I don't. And I'm yeah. hoping it's big because I remember you were, you were talking yeah. about how the the, the job was nice and big. And you're right. Yeah. It, it, you if you're gonna have a Rancor in there, it has to be a big pin. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have a feeling though it might be in the show store as an incentive pin. Or, I mean, it could be a three-pack because it could be a, a Jabba's Palace three-pack with him, the Rancor Keeper, and a Gamorrean Guard. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. I mean, so, it makes sense, too. It does. I think tomorrow we'll find out because tomorrow Jedi VIP batch holders get a link to purchase their stuff for the show store now. So it technically it should show on there. So tomorrow... I'll probably make a video and have that info and leak it out to everybody so everyone can know how much they're going to (laughs) waste. I mean, we're spending enough just going and as just as much as you're spending while you're there. I think I've spent more already than what I've like buying there and what I'm going to spend compared to just going. Yeah. No, bro. Yes, yes, and yes. So the tickets... It's crazy. So Saturday kind of been sold out. Sunday recently just sold out. So all they have left are Friday and Monday, which I'm shocked Friday's still there because, like, the first day of it, and it hasn't been there in seven, eight years, I figured that would be gone. But do you think these are going to sell out before in the next week, or you think no? I think, if anything, the Friday is going to sell out. I don't see uh, Monday selling out. You know, it's it, it is towards the end. And I and like for like for me for instance I'm not even going Monday. Yeah, you know so if they haven't even sold out for Monday yet, and it's it's a weekday, and it's the day That's after true. the day after Easter, so I would imagine. Actually, I would imagine Sunday being slower just because of Easter. Because I'm hearing that Sunday, a lot of things within the city is gonna be closed. Oh, because it's Easter, isn't that Easter Sunday? Yeah, it's Easter Sunday. On top of that too, yeah, so. I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if it stays like that, it's like you would think that Friday wouldn't be as crazy because, oh, it's not sold out. I still think it's going to be a zoo I think Friday. So and and I'm going early and and just because there's a lot of cosplayers outside. Oh, there's yeah, of, bro. And there's, there's, there's still vendors outside, too. They're not like, you know, the ones you expect to, to be inside, but you're going to yeah. still see vendors outside and still an opportunity to check it out. And that's the thing is if you don't have tickets to get in, you still have the opportunity to check out the outside. 
Yeah, because a lot of those meetups, those photo op meetups are outside, like where yeah. all the clone troopers meet up, everybody from Rebels meets up. So they do that on the steps, like right in the front. Exactly. So, so you don't I'll, even have to have, have a, a ticket, but if you cosplay, you can still yeah. go and be yeah. a part of it, and then that's it. You, you've done it. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to this Monday, though, because if it is a nice, chill day, I'll need it after three days of madness, and then the closing ceremonies they're streaming it to all of the the halls right celebration twin sun galaxy but also the live stage so for that like usually i would try to go into the celebration stage and sit and watch it in there right i think i'm gonna go watch it at the live stage like i'm trying to be in the middle of a crazy crowd That'd be sick recording it live and then that's when we're gonna get the announcement for 2025 so i want to see like a big crowd's reaction to when and where 2025 is going to be. So that's going to be, be uh, I'll be at Disneyland Paris during that time. Oh, uh, that, Monday. that Monday. Oh, bro. Mm. That's um, why, that's why we, we're leaving early. The hyperspace mountain there is, is Star Wars. Yes, bro. You, you're and, gonna... and so hyperspace mountain in Paris, that's the only one that has a launch. Yeah. It's like, a. So, let, so what so funny story i'm not a roller coaster guy but like in orlando i'll do space mountain because that's like that's fine it's, it's regular so when i went to paris in 2018 to disney i i saw it i'm like oh star wars space mountain let's go it should be like easy so i get in the ride and i sit in and it's a harness and i'm like this is weird why is there a harness yeah. and i didn't realize it's like a full roller coaster goes upside down yep. tw twirls but the music that they were playing the whole time, it was the asteroid field music from like when the Falcon is chasing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's that, and you're chasing like Tie Fighters and escaping. I was so hyped that I didn't realize it was like a scary roller coaster, which I don't do. Like if I would have known that beforehand, I probably wouldn't have did it because I'm such a wimp. Like I don't do roller coasters, but like I'm glad I didn't know because I had the time of my life, and I would. That's probably the only roller coaster I would do again. Like for real, for real. I have I have a one loop max. One loop max. <laughs> well, I have one. I just have one. If I see one, I'm like, dude, that looks like fun. There's two loops. Hard no. Too much? Yeah. I'll, I'll do one. I'll do one. Oh, so man. I, we're, we're, we're excited for that. So we're like, let's leave early and we'll, we'll attend that. So, where Do uh, you have any predictions on where 2025 celebration is going to be? Uh, Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, and here's the thing, too, is for a company wise it actually makes more sense to either do orlando or anaheim so much sense. yeah because what do you have in orlando what do you have in anaheim disney disneyland disney world yeah so in reality reality you're, you're capitalizing on the fact that you have thousands of people attending this event and they're gonna go they're gonna to the park it's, it's it's like why wouldn't you go i mean i'm going to, i'm going to disneyland for may 4th yeah right so yeah. why wouldn't you go during celebration or the week of celebration Disney will make a ton of money for that. Yeah, that's why I've been saying Orlando because it hasn't been here since 2017. It hasn't been here since Galaxy's Edge has been open. It hasn't been here since the Star Cruiser Hotel, which has been a huge failure. So maybe that'll give them some sales because, you know, especially people from overseas, if they're going to come to Celebration in Orlando, they'll probably make it a big two-week trip and do a week at Disney, do the Star Cruiser, exactly. then go – they could do a Star Wars night like they did in Anaheim. Everyone's gonna go. It's gonna sell out, and um, yeah, bro, it, it just it just makes so much sense. So that's where I have a feeling it's gonna be. Like, and I'm it would spoiled. Be cool. It'd be cool to have it, you know, somewhere else. You know what I mean? But, yeah, no, for sure. But, but it's like, for for me, let's let's say it's uh, in Orlando, right? I'm like, dude, we can go to Galaxy's Edge the day before, yeah, or after celebration. You know, that that Tuesday, let's go. Let's go to you know yeah galaxy's edge let's go to Disneyland. exactly let's, let's keep it going yeah you know it's it's more money coming out of our pockets but it's going into theirs and you know disney they're like waddle only money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like of course they would want that so for me i'm kind of hoping it's orlando just because financially i'll get a breather because bro i'm like an hour drive i psh, oh, easy. That's perfect. so that cuts out a lot of costs but at the same time it's kind of like i wish it would be somewhere where I've never been before. Like Chicago was fun, like going there. Um, and then London, I mean, freaking it's Europe. So, but it's, it'll for sure be somewhere stateside. 
but I, I, I really think it's going to be Orlando. Vegas would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. I wouldn't yeah. mind that too. Cause that's a 20 minute drive for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind going back to Vegas too. So it's yeah. it, unfortunate, like as cool as it would be, it just wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't. You yeah, yeah. No, it it's, wouldn't. And that's why for me and, and London makes sense. You know, because there is a museum over there that they store, they archive a lot of props. Yeah. You know, they archive the um, the script to A New Hope, you know. So yeah. there's a lot of sentimental value of, of Star Wars in London. Mm-hmm. You know, so it makes sense for it to be there. And, like, would it be cool to have Celebration in other places? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But the sentimental value of having it, whether it's London, Orlando, or Anaheim, it just makes more sense. Yeah, and with London, they're filming uh, Rogue One right now. So literally, those cats could film, hop on a little bus, and come right to Celebration. Exactly. So what's uh, what's the one thing you're looking forward to the most when you get to London? So out of the three days you're going to be there, what's like the one thing that you're beyond excited for? Wow. That's a great question. You, you know, honestly... The signings and meet and greets are cool, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's cool to to see these these actors and something we all grew up on, right? And it's it's the reason why we're even here. Yeah. But what really makes Star Wars so successful is its fans. Yep. You know because you can go to Comic Con, right? Go to Comic Con, cool, whatever. But it's 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 a mix of different. You have it's, Marvel. It's diverse. You have, yeah. You know, but this is some strictly Star Wars. There may be people who love Star Wars more than you and who um, know more than you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all Star Wars. You're gonna be surrounded by people who love the exact same thing, and there's something cool about having that same energy in the room. You know, like like what if you got like a like an awesome announcement? Like, let's just say you're at a you're at a panel. And something happens. Yeah. Someone comes out, and it's awesome. You have your friend next to you, and you're right. But someone behind you, or someone to the left of you, in front of you, you don't know them. They might tap you on the shoulder too. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and it's, yeah. and it, it, it's the vibe of having all these people who love the same thing, and also people you've been speaking to. You know, like with me and you. Yeah. You know, there's other people I've been speaking to. That, uh, Absolute Sabers over in um, in Scotland. He's yep. coming. There's so many of us that we speak on a daily basis that we all get to hang out, whether it's for a few minutes, a couple hours, or during a panel, and we're all getting to see the exact same thing at the exact Together. same time. Yeah. You know, it's like I said, it's so cool to see announcements and meeting these people that you've watched on, you know, in movies and shows for, for so long. But at the end of the day, that experience is nothing without having people surround you, surrounding you who love the exact same thing. Dude, you're going to get goosebumps I know. over and over and over again. The same goosebumps oh. you got Friday, you're going to get on Sunday. Why? Yeah. Because of the people you're surrounded with. And the I, after parties. Oh, oh man. it's gonna. <laughs> we're going to get to some trouble out there, man. It's going to be fun. Good trouble. But yeah, I think what I'm looking forward to most, yeah, is, is that feeling, that energy. It's a certain feeling, and you know it when you're there. And like, I remember in Chicago, I didn't get into the panel for um, episode nine for like the name reveal on the trailer, but they were streaming it in the in the big hall. So I'm in a crowd. It's at least two, three thousand people all surrounding the stage and watching that trailer with everybody. And like you said, everyone is like just as excited in front of you, behind you, to the left of you. And once, like, the end of the trailer came and we saw the title, everybody went nuts. Then we heard Palpatine laugh. Everybody went nuts. Like, those moments, like, I'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about it just because, like, that's now. It's happening right now. That feeling, that energy is priceless and it's unmatched. So that's the biggest thing, man, is just seeing that European energy, man, because I think it's going to be the same as how it is out here. So I can't wait for that, man. And that's the cool part is, like, we – I've seen a good amount of people stateside going over there. Yeah. You know, oh, and yeah. the thing is when you have, you know, when we had um, celebration in, in Anaheim and Orlando or Chicago, the majority of the people you're going to see live stateside. You're going to mm-hmm. get those people coming from, from the UK, from, from other countries. But yeah, for us, we're surrounded by people from the UK. Yeah. So this That's is a different, 
It's so yeah. weird because it's a different experience, but at the same time, it's gonna be the exact same vibe. I know. I already know. That's what. Yeah, I already know. So I can't That's the wait weird for that part. too. That's the weird part, you know. And best the best thing about it is you're gonna, you're gonna have uh, prequel fans, sequel fans, and original trilogy. Everything. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone still loves and enjoys watching Star Wars no matter what. Yeah, and that's yeah. the that's the vibe, dude. It, like the entire time, it's it's gonna it's it's gonna be a great vibe, a great experience for anyone, whether it's your first time, your fifth time, or even if you're not gonna go inside and you're walking outside and you're seeing all these cosplayers. Yeah, you're gonna feel those vibes, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So that was the last thing that I have. So do you have anything coming up on your channel that you want to talk about? Not really. Right now I'm trying to dude, I have way too many lightsabers, man. <laughs> you know, I'm 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 blessed. I have companies reaching out asking me to to do stuff for them and, and nice. I am, you know, and I, I'm yeah. doing that for them. And it's like, man, it's low key getting I'm kind of getting bombarded a little bit. I still got some Legos to finish that's just been sitting here. Yeah. Like I have I have like a Darth Vader helmet Lego. It's been sitting there. I haven't opened it. Oh man. You know, so I, even for myself, I have so much to still do and dang, it's just I'm running out of room. And you'll be covering the show, right? On your channel? <laughs> I am, yeah. So I am gonna do each day um also a splash of specific things like hot mm -hmm. toys, you know, Hasbro. Yeah. And it's gonna be its own specific video. Nice. You know, because you know, we're gonna get previews. You know, we're going to be able to see things that everyone might see a couple of days later. Yeah. You know, that's the cool part. Yeah, you know, no, so, for sure. And I, I do hope to be able to film, you know, interacting with people that we, you know, we've been talking to this entire time. Yeah. You know, even if it's very, very quick, like, how, how are you liking your celebration? Like, even if it's something yeah. so, so, so small... You know, because again, you're getting those vibes from different people. Everyone has their own, like their own niche. Yep. You know, some people only like lightsabers. Some people only like black series. But you're getting a different perspective of someone's experience at a celebration. Yep. So it's a great opportunity to film that to see what everyone loves. It's cool. It's it's gonna be a cool experience. No, for sure. Well, an expensive experience. But... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Yes and yes. Well. Thank you again for your time. I appreciate it. Again, guys, I'm going to put his info in the description. Be sure to check him out. But that's everything for this episode of Sith Talk. See you guys next week.